What's up guys, it's Ethan And today we are going to be re-simulating the 1998 NBA Finals. As you guys may know, this was Michael Jordan's last Finals and last NBA Championship. They played the Utah Jazz, which easily were the greatest team that Jordan has ever faced in the Finals. I've been Macklemore on this roster. Okay, 2K. I mean, Carmelo was a great player. Well, at least on the court. But let's see who can come out on top in this re-simulation. Comment down below who you think is going to win. And let's get into it. So we're here in game one. The Bulls are up one with the ball with 45 seconds left. Here comes Jordan. Jordan tries to drive. Drops up his left and play. He breaks it in. Tough shot by Jordan. As the Bulls take a three-point lead. Here comes Stockton. Races up the floor. Here he comes. They're giving over to Malone. Malone. His layup. Oh, good by Pivot. What a attention from Scotty. Now here comes Jordan, he's fouled. Jordan has just knocked down both his free throws and the Jazz call a timeout. What a rejection from Scottie Pittman and now the Jazz are in trouble. They need a quick bucket here. Let's see if they can get something cooking here. Here comes Isley. They need to go quickly. He takes the screen. He's over to Malone. Malone spins. Good defense. His layup, he's fouled. Now Malone is at the line, he missed the first free throw. Carl Malone knocks down the second, but ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it here. So the Bulls are gonna take game one here in this best of seven. Let's move on to game two. So in game two, the Jazz respond, blowing out the Bulls here. Let's see what happens as the series shifts over to Chicago. We are here in game three. The Jazz are up one with the ball here. Trying to take a two games to one series lead. Here goes Malone. Takes a double. Still puts up a hook shot and misses. I don't know about that shot from Carl Malone over two defenders. Now let's see what the Bulls respond with. Here comes Harper. Pittman's going to come around. Pittman pulls up. Won't go. Rebound by Ostertag. And now here comes Isley with a pass over. Russell on the drive. His layup. It won't go. Now, can the Bulls get a bucket here? Here comes Pittman. He puts up a thing. It's gone. Scotty from downtown. Timeout Jazz. Scotty has been clutched so far in this series as he does it again. Now, let's see what the Jazz can do here. I think they're going to give it over to Malone. Malone in the post. Here comes a double. Carl is layout. No, he puts it in. What a tough shot from Carl Malone. Timeout Bulls. Around two defenders, what a tough shot. Now, under 10 to play. Here comes Harper, they kick it over to Jordan. Jordan, his lap in the bank, it misses. Rebound by Malone from half court. It won't go, so we're going into overtime. Now we are in overtime. The Jazz are up one, but the Bulls have the ball. And I'm noticing John Stockton's on the floor. I thought he found out in regulation, so I don't know why the Jazz weren't playing him in the clutch at Scotty. So far, he has been clutch in this series. Can he do it again? Scotty backs up, tries to isolate Scotty. Shotgun down to 10, kicks over to Harper. Harper takes the screen. Harper on the drive, pulls up, short. Rebound by Lockley. His Blatty puts it in. Timeout Jazz as the Bulls take a one point lead. Now the Jazz have a whole shot clock to work with to get a bucket and take the lead. They're gonna kill it over to Malone. Malone. Oh, he puts it in! Chop the basket! And the foul! I was sure he was gonna slam that down, but it didn't matter. He still got the bucket, and his free throw is good! Timeout, Bulls. Looking at a two-point deficit. Here comes Harper. Game clock coming up on under 10 seconds. Who is gonna save the Bulls here? Will it be Scotty or will it be Jordan? Here comes, five seconds. Is it gonna be Harper? Two seconds, Harper over the pivot, it's three! Bang! Bang! Scotty from downtown! He does it again! And it's over! The Bulls steal game three! Scotty Pittman has been clutch all series long, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if they can take a 3-1 series lead. We are here in game four. The Jazz are up one once again, but the Bulls, can they respond? Here comes Jordan, pump fakes, gets a double. George Lamb, he misses. Rebound by Malone over to Isley. 
Once again, I do see John Stockton at the scores table. Whoa, what a pass out of Malone as he throws it down. Timeout, Bulls. So John Stockton has just checked into the game, but the Bulls are down three. Can they tie it up? Here comes Harper. What are they going to do? They're going to get killed with the Jordan. Here comes Jordan. The double's coming. Jordan fading away. Won't go weak out by Rodman. His land is gone. Now it's a one-point game, and here comes the free throw game. Let's see. First, they got inbounded, though. Malone's looking. He goes over to Stockton, and he's fouled. Now Stockton has to knock down both these free throws. He knocks down the first, but can he knock down the second? Stockton. Oh, he missed the second free throw. Here comes Pippen with the ball. He's been clutch all series long. Kicks over to Harper. Harper. Who are they going to kick it to in the clutch? I think it's going to be Jordan. Jordan gets a double. Kicks it out to Robert. Back out to Pippen. There's three. Oh, he won't go. Rebound by Russell, and that's going to do it here. Pittman wasn't able to do it this time, and the Jazz tie up the series. So the Bulls are going to take care of business here and take a three games to two series lead over the Jazz. Let's see if they can close it out in six games, just like how they did in real life. It is a one-point lead for the Jazz in game six. Can the Bulls win it all here? Here comes Jordan in the paint. Kicks a double. Jordan out to Rodman. Rodman. He's not going to shoot that one. Harper over to Jordan. Jordan's going to repost. Kicks over to Harper. Harper back to Jordan. Jordan. Tough shot in the pay. He misses. Rebound by Malone over to Stockton. Can the Jazz force a game seven here as Stockton's going to go to the free throw line? Let's see. He oh, he missed the first free throw. Stockton has left the door open for the Bulls. As a second shot, the line is good. And the Bulls call a timeout. Now, can the Bulls take the lead or tie it? Let's find out. Listen, Scotty Pittman is the man to go to here for the Bulls. Here comes Jordan. He hasn't been clutch all series long, if we're being honest. Here comes Jordan between the legs. Putting the moves on Jordan on the drive. Pump fakes. His floor to pay is good. He ties it up. Timeout, Jazz. Jordan shuts me up there. And now it's the Jazz turn to respond. Here comes Stockton. 10 seconds remaining. Season is on the line here. Here comes. They're going to kick it over to Malone. Malone the paint. He's doubled. Drop steps. Pump fakes. His layup. Oh, he missed the shot. And we're going into overtime. Carmelo with an easy layup and he missed it. We are here in overtime with 46 seconds remaining. All tied up here. Here comes Malone on the drive. Blocked by Robin. Jazz Bull. Dennis Robin with the clutch block. Shot clock is down to 12 seconds, so the Jazz have enough time to get a quality look here. Here comes Malone. Kicks it out to Hornacek. Over to Isley. Isley. Are they going to kick it over Malone? Yes, they are. Oh, he's turned over. Stolen by Robin. What a bad pass. Now here comes Harper. Kicks it over to Jordan. Jordan's double shot misses. Timeout, Jazz. Guys, listen. Michael Jordan has not been clutch in this series, surprisingly. He usually is in our simulations. But I don't know. But now, the Jazz can force a game seven here on this possession. Uh, Rodman's low key in the paper three seconds right now. I'm not going to hold you. But they're not calling it. Here comes Isley. Four seconds remaining. Over to Malone. Malone for the win. Won't go. We have another overtime coming. Now we're in double overtime with 35 seconds. All tied up here. Here comes Jordan. Jo I, hey, listen. The guy gave it to Scotty. I'm not going to lie to you. Wait. Jordan on the throne. He's fouled. Oster type fouled him. Listen, I thought Jordan was going to absolutely and utterly slam that down as Jordan knocks down the first free throw. Jordan shot the second free throw, though. Now the Jazz can still get a bucket and the lead. Stockton on the drive. He's left. He's fouled. What am I witnessing? Michael Jordan missing clutch free throws. Now Stockton knocks down the first. Here comes the crucial second shot. The line from Stockton. He gets it to go. Timeout, Bulls. I don't believe it here. Now the Bulls need a bucket or there will be a game seven. Here comes Harper. He will hold the ball here. Can the Bulls win the title on this possession, or will we be going back for a game seven in Utah? Here comes Harper. Four seconds. Harper on the pivot. The game's open. Can he do it again? Oh, he missed. 
It will be a game seven. We are here in game seven. It is all tied up here. Let's see. Can the Bulls win it here? Here comes Jordan in the post. Jordan's going to get a double. Jordan's going to fade away. It won't go. Now, can the Jazz steal this series? Here comes Stockton. He's in the paint over Longley. Stockton pump fakes. But kicks it back out smartly. No, he's going to drive. Stockton over to Malone. Back to Stockton. Over to Keith. Hornacek. They're moving the ball around. Stockton. He drives. Over to Malone. He throws the damn horn. Timeout Bulls. What a possession by the Utah Jazz. Moving the ball around. I think everyone touched it. As here comes Pittman. Everything rides on this possession. Scotty. He's going to kick it over to Jordan. Jordan's layout. He puts it in. All tied up here. Timeout Jazz. But now, can the Jazz win a championship here on this possession here comes stockton on the drive kicks it out over to malone back over to stockton stockton four seconds step back stockton drive stockton flap oh he missed we're going into overtime now we're here in overtime it's all tied up here as i think i saw john stockton at the scores table he's gonna check in now let's see oh another bad pass oh my goodness that may cost them the series as Harper drives. Harper pump fakes over to Jordan, out to Longley. Longley mid-range, misses. Now, once again. And, oh, almost stole by Pittman. Oh my goodness, the Jazz have to be careful here. A lot of bad passes so far. But now, they calm things down here. As they keep over to Malone, now it's another bad pass. Taken by Jordan, five seconds, over to Pittman, Pittman. Backs up for the win. It won't go. Now we're in double overtime here in this exciting game seven. The Jazz are down one. They've had so many costly turnovers in this simulation. And another one right on cue. Here comes Harper. Harper's going to take it here and pass it over to Jordan. Jordan over to Weddington. That's a mismatch. Weddington's line and puts it in. Three point game. And now things are looking bleak for the Jazz. So many costly turnovers here as they call a timeout. But can they knock down a clutch three? Let's see. As they kick it over to Hornacek. Over to Stockton. Stockton's going to take a screen here. Over to Malone. He's been receiving doubles all series long. But this time he doesn't. He misses, but he's fouled. I didn't even hear the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. As Carl Malone has to knock down crucial free throws. He does knock down the first. Malone, second shot, the line is good. Now, the Bulls just have to cleanly inbound this ball and knock down some free throws as Jordan is fouled. Oh, wait, they did have a foul to give. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Part of me does even want Jordan taking these free throws. He's missed a clutch free throw here in this simulation. Let's see, though, can Ron Harper... Knock these down. He knocks down the first. Second shot. The line is good. Now the Jazz with no timeouts. They need a three. Here comes Stockton. Championship on the line. Here he comes. He takes the three. He misses. And that's going to do it here. So the Chicago Bulls are going to win here in seven games. I mean, what can I say, man? Scotty Pittman wins simulation MVP. Jordan was not clutch at all. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Jordan was not clutch here in this simulation, but it didn't matter because the Bulls still came out on top. But with that being said, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. We out, man. Let's get it.